well, what am I doing here? What on earth is this going to be? Oh, could be just about anything. Oh, hi! Didn't realise you were there. I'm Debbie Leori and I draw pictures and write stories for a living and I thought we could all draw something together. I thought I could show you how to draw some of my favourite characters, um, especially my most favourite character, which is this little book bug. And it is book bug's 10th birthday. And because we can't have a huge party at the moment for book bug, I thought what we could do is have a virtual midnight feast. I will invite Bookbug, but we'll also invite four of his friends and we'll draw them. So I thought we would start not with Bookbug, sorry Bookbug, we'll do you on another day. I thought we would start with drawing a friend of his, a bear. I've written a few books with bears in them, so I really like drawing bears. And bears are very easy. Um, so let me show you how we're going to draw a bear. And as we do with all the characters that I draw, we start with an egg. So we draw an egg. And it doesn't matter if the egg's got blobby bits at the side and it's not a perfect egg. The main thing is just to get the rough shape of an egg. And then we give the egg some ears. So we'll give him an ear there and an ear there. And then I do this thing where I put a sort of almost like an inside ear. I don't know why I do this. I just do a bit like that. Little curly whirly bit on both sides. So that's the bear's ears. And then I'm going to give the bear a nose. And the nose is just a wee thing, a wee U shape in the middle of his face. And then hanging from the new shape is the bear's smile. Now, you don't have to make your bear smile. You can make your bear frown if you want, but I would quite like my bear to smile because he's going to a midnight feast and midnight feasts are brilliant. And then I would give him some eyes. And these are just like eggs, only much smaller on either side of his face. And then I put a little mark in the middle of the eye like that and that's the bear's pupil. There. Simple, huh? Not too difficult. Now the bear is going to a midnight feast so I think perhaps he should bring some food because everybody brings something to a midnight feast. So that means I have to give him a body. Let's give him a really simple body. Just like that. That's his shoulders. And let's why am I saying he? I have no idea. Well, I guess this might be a boy bear, but you can make him a girl bear. It really doesn't matter. He can be any kind of bear you like. I'm just going to give the bear a t-shirt like that. That's not too difficult. And then some arms. One arm. And bears have got paws, as you know, so we can draw those really easily. Bear paws are so much easier than the hands for people. So there's one of the bear's hands and here is the other one. There, just like that. And the bear is going to be holding some food. And I thought, what would a bear like best? Because people always bring what they like best to a picnic. And I thought, you know what? Bears love honey. So this bear is going to be holding an enormous, big, dripping honeycomb. Not a jar of honey, but a honeycomb straight from the bee. And to make that look a bit more like a honeycomb, I'm going to put lots and lots of little egg-like shapes in there. Now they're not eggs, they're the cells inside a honeycomb where the bees feed and lay their eggs which turn into more bees. Now I know it doesn't look all that much like honey 
because it's in black and white, but you can colour it in. You could even do a little drip of honey coming from the honeycomb. Okay. And then the bear's body is really just... He's quite a chubby bear. There we go. With a long t-shirt. So you just draw a t-shirt. And then you can give him two legs. One leg that goes like that. And another leg that goes like that. And then bears have got big feet. A bit like paws. But quite long. Like that. And like that. And then we'll give him some claws. Like that. Okay. That wasn't too difficult, was it? And tomorrow, we're going to draw a different character to go to Book Bug's birthday. I think tomorrow we might draw a rabbit. A little bunny. Okay. I wonder if you could have a think between now and then. What food would the rabbit like to bring to the midnight feast? Well, there's a question. Anyway, bye bye. See you tomorrow.